Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Try It or Toss It. This is Santa Says, yours truly, with my usual Pomeranian pal, Mr. Cupcake. This is a good boy, as always. There he is, cute as pie as ever. I know he's the real star of the show. I know. I just roll with it. Even though Santa can mess you up on Christmas time by not bringing you a gift you thought you'd like. Just remember that. <laughs> anyway, today we're uh, reviewing uh, our coffee like we normally do on a Tuesday morning here in uh, South Florida where Santa is semi-retired and enjoying life. Uh, this past weekend, they had a big event downtown nearby uh, called the uh, Del Rey Affair. It was a fabulous event, lots of uh, outdoor type food and many vendors uh, selling arts and crafts. It was a beautiful thing. If you ever get a chance to come down to Del Rey, I highly recommend it. It's one of the best little towns you'll ever come across. It's got a beautiful mile long beach, lots of lovely hotels. You should check it out. Uh, it's where I live <laughs> and I love it. I really do, it's a great town. Anyway, today we're going to be reviewing eight o'clock coffee. Uh, caramel flan flavor inspired by Florida is what this says um, so that's what we're gonna be reviewing today a wonderful well we'll see if it's wonderful <laughs> but a really long time brand uh, eight o'clock coffee uh, it's a medium dark roast has been around since 1919 and it actually started as a brand for the AMP supermarkets uh, trimming trees nearby sorry i'll try to talk a little louder but they have uh, started as the amp or the atlantic pacific supermarket chain they actually started out as their brand they named it eight o'clock coffee because they did a survey and discovered that most people drink their coffee at 8 a.m and 8 p.m that's the eight o'clock coffee something i didn't know um other interesting fact about this brand of 8 o'clock coffee, uh, sometimes you'll see on the package, it's known as EOC, is that they were the first, first spectacular billboard advertised in Times Square, New York uh, in 1933. Now, if you know anything about Times Square, which I've been there well, you know, over the years, I fly over, but I've actually stopped in there uh, once or twice in the past. And they're huge on advertising there. In fact, you have to have big signs there these days. Um, and uh, so you can kind of say that this brand started it all out. They're the ones that really got that going. So, uh, anyway, that's what's going on with them, uh, the 8 o'clock coffee brand. They have a lot of other flavors inspired by locales. I think I saw a Texas praline, uh, a Michigan cherry pie. That sounds interesting. Believe it or not, Santa really loves cherry flavored. One of my favorite things to do is to make cherry cheesecake or any cheesecake but especially cherry and uh, Santa's been told by Mrs. Claus and many other people that he makes an astounding cheesecake so if you get to know me maybe I'll make some for you sometime you never know <laughs> you might get some uh, anyway I know I say that all the time I gotta stop that but it's just something that Santa says does so any again anyway we're gonna do a little sippy test of this again I got my shell coffee and for those of you who haven't seen the show before or the videos before I kind of do a 
sort of like a five-star review, but I do a toss review. And what I do is if it's great and I love it, I don't toss it. Uh, and then I, it goes down from there. And if I really hate it, it gets tossed. Not keeping anything I don't like. I haven't come across anything I've tossed completely yet. Uh, Santa does have a pretty big affinity for coffee. So it's got to be not so good for it to get completely tossed. He's had a couple keepers. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. All right. So, right, buddy? You want to try some? No? <laughs> I don't think dogs are supposed to drink coffee. I never looked that up. But anyway, here we go. Let me smell it first. Ah, it does have a nice smell. Very pleasant. I can't say the scent of the flan caramel is very strong, but it does have a nice brewed coffee scent to it. So now that we've done that, we'll give it a tasty. Okay, that was the first taste. I usually like to give it at least, at least, <laughs> at least two tastes before I determine my toss. So we'll go ahead and give it another taste. Okay. Now, a little something about uh, Santa. His flan experience was not that good. The, actually, the first time he had some flan at all was in his Spanish class in seventh grade at my school. It was called Brookdale in New Jersey, Bloomfield. Uh, great school. It's not there anymore, but uh, really appreciate uh, the people there that helped uh, shape my wee life a long time ago. <laughs> um, Miss, Mrs. Lopez, I believe, was the Spanish teacher. And she decided, as part of the cultural experience, that we would have a little Spanish dinner. And uh, I remember that we had uh, like little tostones. And I don't remember the whole menu, but it, it, it was a pretty good experience overall. And uh, as you know, or should guess anyway, Santa really does love his little desserts. Uh, however, the first time he had flan, he thought it was horrible. Uh, uh, I'll do that again for you. Uh. And uh, he didn't touch flan for decades, literally decades after that. Uh, and then he was with some other folks. Um, they were Hispanic. I don't recall what country they were from. And uh, to be polite, he had some of their flan for dessert. And I have to say, it was amazing. It was a completely different experience. He really enjoyed it. And since then, he's tried some others and he's really loved them and he's tried some others and it's been like the first time. So it seems to me in the regular flan world that it kind of just seems to be how it's made, whether he likes it or not. But anyway, I'm sorry, I digress. Back to the coffee. I like this one. Um, again, though, I'm not getting a big hit of caramel flavoring from it. Uh, it's the only negative. It's a very smooth coffee. It tastes... Actually, it goes right over my palate very nicely. I really love that it does that. I don't like when they sort of have a little bitter aftertaste. Uh, if you were wondering, I did this one in an automatic trip. So, now that I've kind of conveyed all that information to you, I am going to... Give it a quarter toss. I tricked you. Quarter toss it is. There it goes. Ooh, quarter toss. There it goes. A little bit on my arm. At least I didn't get it on my shirt or leg this time. If you've watched this before, you know I tend to do that. Fortunately, I've learned to wait to make sure they're not too hot before I do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. Please, please, please. If you like the show, share it with your friends. Share it. Share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe that's super important as well watch my other videos in the playlists and like them comment to me ask me questions if 
feel free if you have a particular coffee you want me to try you can either send it to me or message me and uh, see if i can locate it and i'll give it a try and i'll tell you what i think of it so that's it for today and i appreciate you watching thank you so much for giving me your time um and have a great day oh he's waving hey oh, bye 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 everybody